Welcome back to the Grand Shamrock Tour Reality Check Edition. Oh, we need to check the reality. <laughs> well, <laughs> the last couple weeks have been a reality check for us yeah. because we've had the Grand Shamrock taken away from us and uh, it was in for some much needed repairs. Oh, the repairs are great. They did a wonderful job. They did a great job, yeah. uh, but they literally had to take the whole front end of our, our house off and redo it. It was some flexing issues. The rig was going down the road and it was doing a little bit too twisty and whatever. They are very concerned about safety, as are we. And so they went ahead and did a whole bunch of repairs that uh, we're very confident are done well. Oh, so. yeah. So it makes us feel real excited about what we've got in front of us. Yeah, but, the, but, but again, back to the reality, we have had our reality disrupted for the last two weeks because we've been sitting in a hotel over there about a mile and a half away. Well, we've been able to do some things. You know, we've gotten out a little bit, but it also kind of felt a little isolating. So yeah. being in there and re recognizing when we landed here back home in our RV, we've got the outside yeah. as part of our living. We love our home. We love what we're doing, yeah. but we love the fact that our house goes to any location we want, anytime we want, for as long as we want. Yeah. Yeah, and that has been really great. I mean, we've enjoyed it so much. Uh, Indiana has been a variation on the weather, and so we actually had uh, an inch of snow yeah. just a couple of days ago. It was 82 degrees riding over on the beaches, and then three days later we had an inch of snow on the ground, <laughs> and we, so quit, and we had to go slow it, going. It's been raining all day today. Right. It's rained yesterday. Right. It's been a, yeah. But that is the reality of what we do. But this last week, there was a, one of the big things was they talked a lot about artificial intelligence. And so mm. I ended up, uh, I talked to the guys down in the Grand Shamrock Research and Development Department downstairs here and uh, asked them if they could develop some, some questions for us to answer to the people at home. What does that have to do with artificial intelligence? Well, I guarantee you uh, all the questions are artificial and very few of them are intelligent. So here, I got some oh. for you right here. Okay, well, good. Good. Okay. Oh, I've got number one. There you go. I've got Nick from Poughkeepsie writes, how long is your trip? Well, hey, Nick, um, it's not a trip. This is our life, the reality check addition is to tell you that this is our reality. We are in a, uh, we are in not camping. We're not on a vacation. No. This is what we do now. We're adventures. We are uh, having the adventure of a lifetime. Would you agree? Oh, th it's been a wonderful, the, the travels that we have done. Now we used to camp. Yeah. But it was, it's just different. We still camp when we want to. We, yeah. can go, we can go into a forest and we have our own We have our own fire pit and everything. It's been great that way. But we are on this, we are on a, a, a journey that uh, has a beginning, but doesn't really have an end yet. I don't know when we're going to end. We've got way too many more adventures. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. To so look after. Well, I got one here for you. Oh, okay. Chelsea from <laughs> Chicken, Alaska writes, Oh, uh, Chicken, Alaska. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what has your RV trip been, uh, been like oh. by the numbers? By the numbers? Yeah. Wow. Well, we like to hit national parks. Uh huh? I don't know how many we've been to. I don't know how many states we've been to. 34. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Sorry, I do know that. <laughs> well, it's obvious uh, we've ridden thousands of motorcycle rides yeah. and routes, you know. Yeah, and miles on yeah. your bike since we took off, you've put close to 30,000 miles on your bike alone. Yeah, um, yeah. And we... Well, I, it just reached 40,000 the other day. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So between the between your motorcycle, our, our two motorcycles, and uh, the the Grand Shamrock has its own mileage. We calculated it. It's, it's I got... Think total mileage uh, since leaving Oregon two and a half years ago. Yeah traveling the west and now coming to the east coast i think we're coming up on about twenty thousand miles yeah in about two and a half years twenty thousand miles across the united states not including the motorcycles and so when you look at that and the that's 34 lot, states that's a lot of and people. a lot of national parks that's oh, a lot of numbers okay let's let's walk past that one yeah those numbers <laughs> keep coming hey i got my next question 
Uh, Connor from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Is everything as wonderful as you say it is? Well, Connor, <laughs> uh, there is, uh, the truth has consequences. We, it's not always wonderful. We, we live in a, as Carolyn describes it, a 40-foot tube that goes down the highway at 60 miles an hour. They call it the 60-mile-an-hour earthquake. There are all kinds of things that present itself in real time, all the time. You have to be able to deal with that, and that is part of the adventure of it. So uh, we were in, actually, in New Mexico when uh, a gust of wind took the door off our truck. Yeah, we had to have, and then we had to stop and get that repaired. So that changed how we were going to continue our travel. So that was a challenge. Yeah. Maybe like a dip. You could call that a dip. Yeah, we do call temporary. them the dips. They happen. They happen uh, with some frequency. Not. I mean, it's not something that you you know you look no, forward to. But most of it is. It can be weather, heat, humidity, <gasps> uh, parts that. You know, <laughs> Didn't know what water humidity was. I had no idea what humidity was until I got in the Midwest in the summer, and that was crazy. But that being said, all of those things, all of those challenges that are presented to us, um, I wouldn't trade any of those challenges for one minute of what we've done. It's just been, it's just been so great. Yeah. It just really has. Actually, back to the question, it has been wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Brian from Booger Hole, West Virginia, writes. Really? Booger Hole, West Virginia? <laughs> yeah. Brian says, how do you decide on the route? Well, we're not going to Booger Hole, West Virginia. Let's just say that. <laughs> if it's got Booger Hole in its name, we go yeah. around it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, so I like what you talk about. You have the big rock. Mm -hmm. So... As we're traveling forward, we're going to be going to a national park, Shenandoah. We also are going to go to Acadia National Park yeah. in Maine. Yeah, two big and rocks. So, you know, that those kinds of things will really, um, we just travel between those and right. figure out where we're going to stay once in between. You, once you've established where you know you're yeah. going to end up, then we just kind of look at what's our best route and what is the most, uh, creates the greatest opportunities for us when we're there, whether it's riding on motorcycles or, or uh, our like e-bikes can be a blast. There's going to be a lot of hiking. A lot of hiking, looking, looking forward, forward to, to it. A, a few hikes there, yeah, same and, as Acadia, but um, that was the case even in uh, parks or uh, picture rocks. Oh yeah, I mean, that was a, that was somebody told us this is where you need to go and, and, the, and they're the right. Hikes? The hikes were great. So a lot of the routes also come from word of mouth, from people leaning in, people talking to us, and then we try to inspire other two people uh, uh, along the way. We try to inspire yeah. people as to where we've been that we encourage them to go to. So yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I think you have the next question. Yeah, so I've got Allison from Why Not North Carolina, yeah. and she asks, uh, how do you guys handle all your fitness on the road, your fitness needs? Well, we do like to stay active as much as possible. Um, we like to hike. We have the e-bikes. But Planet Fitness. Yeah, there's a whole planet of places to, <laughs> to go. There's all sorts of Planet Fitnesses, so that's helpful. Maybe once or twice a week, if we're in an area, We'll go to Planet Fitness maybe once or twice a week. Yeah, maybe we, uh, we uh, Planet Fitness has been just a, a, a great problem solver for us because you don't want to carry weights on the road. You want you want to do weight training, you want to do that stuff, but you can't carry it. it, it weight kills your, your RV experience. That being said, there are enough Planet Fitnesses and you've done a great job of great finding just really good hikes for us to yeah. be in. And, Carolyn does a lot of the planning for some of the motorcycle routes too, which she'll incorporate a hike on a motorcycle route where we can. Yeah, and then um, we do have a yoga mat and uh, we do hike at the RV locations that yeah. we are. Um, and it, that, that's great. Yeah, and occasionally I'll give her a quarter if she swats a cookie out of my hand. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, so that's that, so true. That is Where's a, that yeah. cookie? There you go. All right, uh, and I think this is our last question. Okay. Elizabeth from Bald Head, Maine. Hey, we're going to Maine. Yeah. Are we going to Baldhead? Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> oh. 
Well, how much, so let me rephrase this. Elizabeth asks, how much does it cost? Okay, so that's All a- of this, what does it cost? I think everybody has, that's one of the, the biggest questions we get from everybody. Like, you know, we don't, we're, we don't spend a lot of money and yet we're having an amazing adventure. We do everything on a budget. We don't have, uh, we, we follow Dave Ramsey's plan to get us to this thing. And so we have no debt. We have nothing like that. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, but we pay our own medical. We pay all of our own bills. Everything comes with us, but we do a budget. So every month is going to be specific and different. It's going to be related well, to the area we're at. We budget for where we're going to stay. You yep. know, you know, RV parks cost, uh, whether or not we eat out. Right, we keep it down under 1500 bucks a month. We never have, we've never had to exceed much, you know, barely over $1,500 a month. With, and that's all in. So when you get to an RV park, you've got your power, your water, your cable, yeah, your that's true. sewer, garbage, that's everything's true. all taken care of. You just land here and, and that's when you go off and have fun. But we also are set up for remote living. So we have a, a, a fully self-contained, we have a, a, a 5,500 kilowatt generator, we have solar panels on the roof. We're upgrading to lithium batteries in the next couple of weeks. We're doing all these things so we can go live yeah. remotely off grid as often we have because we really enjoy that. The well, skies are so wonderful. dark out there in the west or, or yeah. even any place where you're just away from. I think that's some of my favorite camping. Yeah. Um, but, but to your point, um, if you stay for a week, it's oh, yeah. a little cheaper. And if you stay for a month, cheaper still so actually a couple of these places that we're getting ready to go to we actually are going to stay for a which month. really brings the cost the overall cost down which kind of improves uh, the other things you get to do but yeah, yeah. We, we we keep a budget we run that budget we reconcile every month just to make sure and we've hit our we've hit our targets across the board which just means this can go on and on and on as long as we choose to to allow it to happen yeah. and we, which you know it, we don't see an end in sight so. well with that on that note, I have one more question. What's that? Well, if people actually enjoyed your question and answers here with your artificial intelligence, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <laughs> um, so yeah, please, we, we would encourage everybody to, if you have a question, just reach out through YouTube. You can, uh, you can put comments, you can ask us questions through YouTube. Yeah, uh, we do have, uh, we have our website, uh, thegrandshamrocktour.com where we have our blog and then we also have the email at grandchamrocktour at gmail.com yeah. but but we would love it if you would like and subscribe because that's how we can get more people to find us and, and we hope to inspire so and share our story yep and with that travel safe and see you out on the road